So hello! I hope uh, the sound is okay. Um, I prepared a lot for now. I'm still not really finished. Um, hi Skywatcher first of all and hello my beautiful hammerheads. Um, a bright olive green. Uh, depending on uh, the availability of your surroundings. Let me call it like that. Um, let me show you something. Um, wait, before. Uh, is it this? Yes. So I have... Wait, ah, there's the button. <laughs> um, you ordered, what was it, Lauren Green? Uh, oh, this is the wrong uh, painting table thingy. Just a second. Let me uh, do the other paint range comparison table. Because from two thin coats, Gang Ho Green is Lauren Green, I believe. Wait, this is still the wrong one no was was this oh sorry this was the correct one <laughs> uh it's just here lauren forest uh gang ho green from tooth and coats or army green from army painter or uh, maybe if you wanted a little bit more pale uh, is strachan green or scaly hide or green beret beret uh, from the, well, uh, Two Thin Code Citadel or Army Painter. Mm. That's really, I don't know many uh, olive green colors because that's not really the color I usually paint with. Mm. Okay, but I hope everyone feels good right now the weekend can come uh, let me just put lotion on the skin because my hands are really dry um, uh, finally weekend time uh, but while um, yeah well my hands then are soaking in the lotion let us check the Warcom homepage and see what other uh, news are out there. And while I'm here, do we have... Uh, oh, Gizmo Fur is XV88. Manticore Oka, because um, NMM Gold. Uh, so we have here a Gizmo Fur, Manticore Oka, Cerberus Brown. Um, I'm not going to do, uh, well, NMM now, because let me show you what I have in store. Uh, I'm not going to light it up right now. Uh, I already painted it Retributor Armor, so the armor, uh, it, and, oh, my hands are still thingy. Um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tooth and Coats. It's, uh, it is my to-go paint right now. I'm just gonna use um, Retributor Armor and the other uh, acrylic paints from Citadel right now because of ease of access and yeah, well, it, I have it. Uh, okay, community page. Let us just reload it first if we have everything. Okay, uh, there were a couple of fun things this week. Let us... When did, wait, when did the week start? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the free miniature of the month is fine. It's a ghoul. Um, the collectible coin looks great. I kind of want it. But I'm not gonna spend 80 euros on um, the... Uh, well, in a store. Uh, the only thing I'm going to 
a pre-order is of course the Mad King Rises. I'm almost done with the script for book two so tomorrow or Sunday I have the video up for everything that has happened in book two um, and then we're going to rush through the stories before book four is in our hands. Uh, Asheran, of course, the other angry boy, the delusional boy. Uh, this is awesome. I love this model. This box would be really nice for me, for my soul blub, great blubs. <laughs> I'm with Jay from Ians of Battle. Um, I'm in the same mind. Soul Blight Grave Lords is just too much. Just call them Soul Blights or the Grave Lords. Pre-order two sets of Titanicus Traitor dice. Ooh, nice. One of the best looking Warhammer dice ever. Okay, I have to look them up in a moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm just. I have so many things now. I can just ignore this box and buy everything separate as soon as I need it. But the painting tutorial on YouTube is awesome for the snake. Um, and oh, this is this is a topic for a video by itself I should make because I had an argument with a um, Games Workshop employee because of the YouTube videos because I was one of the many people who was a little bit annoyed with only hands and my argument was there is no other company on the world on this be on beautiful terra that promotes their stuff with only their stuff some of them do yes of course but just look at all the um designer clothing stuff where there is i don't know it's the only one i know heidi klum everyone says oh heidi klum wears i have no idea what she wears <laughs> it's not the thing i'm interested in uh, but yeah designer clothes was the thing that came to my mind or i don't know i'm old uh I don't know any models except Warhammer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now the thumbnails even have the painting presenters and the model in them. So yeah, but it was really stupid and I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> but yeah, Flesh Eater Cords, um, maybe tomorrow... Uh, I'm going to look through mine because it's still behind me. Maybe I can upload it on the app because it's still not possible. And all the great models for the Flesh Eater Cuties. Oh, the dice. I hate that it's now only 16 of them and they are more expensive than ever. I really don't like this. Uh, Necromonda. As always, the best looking Votan models. Ah, uh, Braki is awesome. The Tau Ethereal is awesome. There are no new animations in War to me. Uh, Warhammer TV Paraya Nexus was October. Oh, I still have to watch it, by the way. Still haven't done it. Uh, the last couple of months were really a lot. Oh, maybe I will get over 80 euros. Uh, because I still have to buy um, White Dwarf 496 and pre-order this one. Uh, oh yeah, the bottle opener, funny. And yeah. Um, okay, what else was there? Was something fun? Painting Ushuran, uh, Ashuran, or whatever his name is pronounced, I already forgot. Uh, one of the best animations they made. Ooh. So I recorded the first episode with me watching it and I already forgot what happened in there. <laughs> but it kind of flew past by me uh, because I heard no one talk about it. Um, 
which is kind of a good thing. Uh, only two friends of mine uh, talked about it, and yeah. Um, oh, the rumor engine. I hate this one. It's Nurgle. <laughs> uh, Necrons. Okay. Um, oh yeah, Meta Watch. The app change is great. Uh, still not gonna play 10th edition. Sad but true. Uh, Necrons happened in the first episode. Yeah! Um, and my Ultramarine Sergeant died. That was sad for me. Uh, oh yeah, the new Hot Rod Sentinel <laughs> is awesome. I love this one. Uh, the rules for... Uh, I forgot her name. But it's kind of really not that important for me right now. Seka. Um, I haven't really looked at the rules of anything right now. But yeah, this is today. I'm gonna read this as soon as... As I'm done with everything. Oh, let's look who painted this. Craftworld Studios. This is easy to see from the painting style. Uh, Kyriot loves the new Heresy Solar Auxilia Light Sentinels. I totally get him. <laughs> I still have to watch his video. Um, oh, doesn't he now... Uh, I just saw the community article of his that he's now part of Adeptus Ridiculous. Is he a permanent member now? I completely forgot, but that's awesome. I'm really happy with that. Even if he's just for six months or anything. Oh, this is great, by the way. Um, but that's just the best. Every uh, guest starring of him, I love it. <laughs> Um, oh, these are new painters, I don't know. I have to look them up. Oh, Notley Paints. Damn, I love this. Um, Lavots the Sigma. Nice. This looks a little flat to me. There is no real depth to the skin. But I love the skin color. This is nice. This is great. This is really great. Oh, Gormain looks awesome. And the priest. Whatever the priest's name was. Wait, what was? A Baron Cardinal, not priest. That's awesome. I love that... Uh, Oh no, I don't want to mispronounce the name. Um, but the color transition for the entrails, that's nice. That's really, really nice. I'm just wondering why um, Orion's Belt Minis is not here with her uh, Gore Warden. But yeah, okay. My hands are now functional, lotion has soaked in, there's probably not going to be any more on the Warcom side, so uh, I should have done this first. So I need the small light here, I need this light here, so this is the first time I'm doing this like this. Uh, oh, I totally forgot, by the way, I wanted to uh, share the stream with a friend of mine <laughs> because um, she wanted to know how I paint gold. And this is going to be the method I'm most comfortable with. So this is nothing new. This is a regular my to-go paint scheme for gold. Oh, am I breaking my internet now? No, okay. Uh, get shareable link. Uh, 
just a second. I'm so sorry, I forgot this. So, okay. Um, so, Leido war sehr um Birds Face. <laughs> oh, I'm in the middle of the Indrasta book. And it's awesome. So, okay. Um... How do I do this? So the focus seems good. Um, okay, so this is on the armor right now. Should also record this. Okay, recording. <laughs> um, this is just Retributor armor right now. Uh, this was two thin coats, not the paint brand, but um, this Retributor armor. And now there are multiple ways of shading this for me. Depending on what I want to achieve, there is Dark Oath Flash if I want it really, uh, well, brown reddish. Reitland Flash Shade is also a good to go or Gilliman Flash. If I wanted a really really brownish color, a Gorgranta Fur or Saigor Brown are also uh, to go. Basically everything that has red and or brown in it are really really good colors to shade gold with. Right now we're going to go with Gilliman Flash because uh, for me, uh, for this type of gold, it's the easiest to use. And um, while doing this, I want to show um, not only my friend, but also you, of course, how I control contrast paints. Because as of right now, there are still uh, many questions out in the open um, how not to do it splotchy because uh, maybe on the weekend or next week Friday I'm going to show you how I did this because this is Garagax sewer just one code and it's almost not blotchy even though I wanted coffee stains <laughs> It kind of didn't work. Uh, Indrasta book has a very negative review on Goodreads. Might be the worst piece of prose I've read in my life. I do not remember when I was so disappointed. What? <laughs> it read like a book written by a child. First one of that. Oh, someone is pissy. <laughs> someone really uh, is not understanding what... Uh, book is but I'm let me show it um, I have about three hours left uh, I had to stop in the middle of the thing um, but I really really enjoy it um, Noah Van Nguyen again shows us what a good book is gave the book one of five stars <laughs> Um, if I would be Noah, I would just um, print it out and hang it on my desk <laughs> just to laugh every time I look at it. So, Gilliman Flash. My hand still feels kinda weird for uh, because of the lotion. But that's fine. Okay, um, let me 
showed like this. I don't have much paint on it. Uh, because for the shading part, that's not as important that I just gloop it on. Right now I'm just going to paint it in sections. Don't have to be too neat with it. And when I see pooling, I'm just soaking it up with my brush. Just be really, really careful with it. And wondering, should I look from here or from here? I don't know. This feels a little bit better, but it's bad for my posture. Um, and I have nothing to listen to. Okay, this needs a little bit more. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna let this leg, so oh, the behind part and this part dry. Let's just go to the other one. So I love using synthetic, uh, synthetic brushes for this as it's not really important to be um, so clean with it. So again, dry the brush, soak up the pooling. Quickly going to do the back of the leg. Still have to figure out where I have to put the model in so you can see me painting it and I can see myself painting it. Precise with painting beard, thank you. Uh, pay so much attention to the detail and put so many colors and layers on the model. Need to get the models battle ready ASAP. Yeah, this is going to be a quick and fast way for this. Um, so basically just really the retributor armor, the wash, and then just, um, what's it said? Uh, yeah, just getting the luster back. So now... Usually I love Reikland uh, Flash Shade Gloss. I still have a pot of it, but as it's going to be discontinued... Uh, as it is discontinued, um, I'm kinda... have to look for alternatives so and the important thing with details like the kneecap is 
I'm pulling it down and to the side, so away from the face of the eagle in this part. Again, soak up the pooling. So, in the eyes of the eagle, just let it pool, so you really know. Um, uh, that way you don't have to put a real shadow into it. Uh, looking at your paint is pure joy, thank you. Painting, good idea. Go get my stuff too. Yeah, and hi, cat's eye. <laughs> so, oh, this is going to be difficult in this. Also, what is possible in this stage is really just blop it on. Um, and because we're going to cover up the mistakes anyway. Well, it's not really mistakes, but giving it back its luster. Um, so it's not really that important to be precise with this one. Oh, but I'm going to show you something. Oh, I should have done it in a different way. Uh, the legs should have been more brown and the upper body should have been more red colorish. Now I'm kinda made the mistake that the legs are going to be more reddish. So, you can see there is a little bit of pooling here and there. Right now, that's fine. Um, we're just going to ignore that. Because, to be fair, when it is an army, it's not going to be that visible. No one's going to pick up a regular dude and say, But there is a coffee stain there. <laughs> Well, some people might, but we're not that. Should have taken more, but... It's really difficult to look above the camera <laughs> just to see the model. It's really weird. And maybe I should just do it like this so I can... I think this is better. Also, I'm going to use this as test models, uh, how I want to paint my Hammers of Sigma. And not only that, but also my old dominion for conquest and or my spires for conquest. 
So I know that I'm also painting a little bit above the black, but that's fine because uh, there is, it's just contrast for now, just to see the outlines really. So here now is a lot of pooling between the cape and um, the elbow guard. I don't know what to call it. But you can also see um, the difference now between the leg armor and the chest armor and the head on how it's not that bland anymore, and I love that. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Ooh, okay, that I have to... Paint outside the focus, I'm sorry. Okay. And again, soak up the pooling. With gold, you don't really have to soak up the pooling. Um, it's just a good habit to train for other paints with contrast. A little bit more. Oh, and this is, by the way, the first time this year I'm putting paint on a model. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. But I'm really happy that I can do it right now with you. Oh, and this is going to be the most satisfying part, the shoulder. Oh yes, there is just so much detail here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just so in the zone right now. So with the shoulder guard, it's really beautiful. Just go in. Soak it a little bit. Nice.
Okay. Uh, I always thought that was the purpose of painting to zone out, to forget the world for a moment. Yes, <laughs> but not if I want to show a little technique here and there. So on the bow I'm just going to blob it on. So nice. So let's let this dry for a moment. Of course, without camera and everything in the way, this would have also been a little bit faster. Still have nothing to listen to. Just a second. Uh, where are my downloaded songs? Though we could listen to the soundtrack of Metal Hellsinger, by the way, because the songs are not uh, copyrighted. So, yeah, but I don't think that that's going to be a good fit for the stream. <laughs> but the game is awesome. Love it since day one. Have it on PlayStation and on PC, because it's just too good to not to play. So now, I'm just gonna take Retributor Armor again. Um, the legs are already dry. Is that a hair? Oh yeah, there is a hair on the leg, but that's fine. Just going to ignore that. So, um, whoop, sorry. For thinning the paint, I just go in and use a little bit of water. That's already a bit too much. So I can just pull it to the side and see how well it covers. Now comes the difficult part for me because Today I'm a little bit shaky and I have to look above the camera, <laughs> which is still kind of weird. Maybe I should... No, I'm not going to change the setup now. So, but for the shakiness, you can just put your hands together and then... I also use 
my whole hand basically just as a help. Leider nur kurz da, mach grad Mittagspause. Damn! Now, just a break. Oh, uh, my poor fellow. But I hope you're having a great day. No. Bronze cast eternal. <laughs> no, it's going to be gold in a moment. So now we're just putting Retributor armor back again. I'm just going to leave the shadows. As I've said, this is not a spectacularly new recipe. Um, it's just uh, messed up here. Uh, you can see it. I have gold in the recess, but that we can correct in a moment. Lang ausschlafen können. Yeah, <laughs> fair. So, for this shape, this is the tricky one. Um, you see, there is, it goes like this. So it's not a straight leg. We're going to go and, first of all, take a little bit of the Gilliman Flash again. Paint there in the recess, <laughs> just to get the gold to go away. So for these parts that are basically really just, it's a flat line. You can paint the Gilman Flash or Rikon Flash Shade, Dark Oath Flash or anything just in there and it's easy. For this, it's a little bit harder. You See, I've already painted a little bit of Retributor Gold here. Now comes the very easy trick. Just paint it a little bit here. The paint doesn't have to cover all the way, just a little bit. Don't forget the rivet. And then you have a very easy shadow here. It's so simple. This is why I love painting gold. Also we're going to have another example for the other part here. Because this is more on the inside, it's more on the shadow area. With the last highlight, it's going to be very good. So again, we're leaving this part out. Don't forget the rivets. The kneecap just a 
near the edge, a little bit on top. And everything that basically sees sunlight. So a little bit on the forehead and of course the sides of the eagle's head. So on the leg armor, we're almost doing the same thing. Here we're just going to... The paint dries really fast right now. But I understand it's a lot of lights. And to be honest, I was a little bit lazy. I did not prepare my wet palette for all of this. So here we are going to leave the recesses for the rivets. Let's endlich mal wieder Primer auspacken und wieder anfangen. Yes, please, do. Oh, now it's a little bit too opaque. It covers too good. Can we feather it out? Yes. So here the paint wasn't dry. I just cleaned my brush and just wiping it back and forth. So I'm diluting the paint on the model that we get this nice um, transition. Okay, we're going to leave the other leg for now as it is. We're just going to focus on some spots that are more important right now. Like the face. Oh, there was no Gilman Flash. Uh, Zendaya's Truth Seeker. Yeah, uh, it's the whole squad. Uh, squad. Uh, all three of them are prepared for different gold tutorials. Um, it was just pure randomness that she is the one who gets regular gold recipe. Uh, oh yeah, the face. So I'm barely touching the model with the brush. 
on certain parts like the nose, the mouth, the cheekbones. Back of the head, not important. Just a really nice canvas to um, practice the paint. Then again. See, just leave a little line for the recess shading. And we're going to darken it, but that's just an additional step if you want to do it. It's not a must at this point. The most important part is really just the Gilman flash or any other wash slash contrast paint and then uh, just use the translucency of the gold to get the transition in a really, really easy way. Okay, wait. <laughs> there are some parts where I really have to take the model to me that I can see it. So just a second, I'm doing the moon brooch thingy on her now. Okay. So the eagle's head is going to be the most fun because it has first of all the beautiful and big beak of the eagle. Don't forget to wash your brush every now and then, very very important. Okay, for next time I have to do this differently. <laughs> I don't know. It's really weird to paint like this. Again, as you can see, I'm barely touching the model. So that even when I hit the rim, of the shoulder guard that the recess is um, free of paint so of the gold paint mm. 
go and this is a very easy way this is basically dry brushing just with a regular brush and a little bit more careful but you can see that the translucency of the gold it just really shines and yes pun intended and again on the other side the only important part is the beak and again here you can touch the model that's fine just be careful with the recess and after that again so maybe I can show it like this um, for this part here uh, can I do it like that I do some strokes before I even touch the model Oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> uh. No, I can't do that like that. I'm sorry. Okay, just a second. Shouldn't do it like this, but I should have tried a different camera setup so I can paint regular and see what I'm doing. But in the end, you get the gist of how I'm doing it. Yeah, okay. And this is the most beautiful, uh, beautiful thing. Um, that the gold and this is why I like true metallic metal more as instead of non-metallic metal uh, non-metallic metal is awesome it is a skill that everyone should try once doesn't matter if you succeed or not just to know how it feels but I don't like it because it mostly looks good in only one angle and that I don't like. So did I forget something? The bow we're just going to ignore. The one leg we're going to ignore, the quiver. Just want to show some regions oh we forgot the back side of the leg that's something we're also going to do and it's basically the same thing as on the front side just on top of everything
Okay, know what I think we're going to do. The other leg as well. It's a fast paint job. It's... Shouldn't say no to those things. Here the only problem is the detail is not as deep in the plastic. That's really weird. So we kinda have to paint the recess ourselves. Ah, uh, close enough. <laughs> I'm also, after these three models and the three different ways of painting gold for me, I'm going to do the same with silver, because I really love metal colors. And if you hear someone eating, it's my cat. <laughs> oh, you can see her a little bit on the side here. She now has a prime spot on my table um, because she almost died on the weekend um, because her food got stuck in her throat and I was really, really scared for a moment. Um, it was a really shocking experience for both of us um, because she was lying there choking and I didn't heard it for I don't know 15 20 seconds and usually I always wear a headset I'm always wearing a headset and as of late I have the habit of putting it on a aware mode which I usually don't do and I just heard her in the background. Um, and that's a sound I never heard from a cat. Never. In all my years. I never heard that. Um, because she was choking and screaming for help at the same time. And I just had to heimic her. Uh, she puked all over herself and all over me, well, that's fine. <laughs> and then we just both were on the ground shaking. She just lay there for 15 minutes, so it was horrible. And since then her spot is right here beside me, her food is beside me. I'm just watching her for the upcoming still days and maybe weeks let's see how it evolves but right now she can eat again without any problems because after that she was very very um what's it called uh careful with uh well eating so what time in chats Yes, of course, that's the time to sit on my lap. <laughs> she never does that. <laughs> now is the time. <laughs> okay, but we have our Retributor armor again on the model. We have the transitions between the shadows and, um, yeah, well, the Retributor armor. What we can do now is just an extra step, uh, stay hydrated, gotta go now. Ah, 
thanks for watching take care of yourself uh thank god she's alive thank you for jumping to the rescue yeah thanks to every god that she's alive um that was so shocking that moment um because i just gave her food it was maybe a minute in between that i gave her food and that she choked <laughs> So, um, after Retributor Armor, I haven't painted everything Retributor Armor now. What we can do, I'm just going to show it again on the leg. We're gonna grab Gorg, oh no, not Gorgrunt of Fur, sorry. A Dark Old Flash. I'm just going to show it on a tiny spot. Just that you know what it looks like. For the deepest of recesses. And the rivets. Just this little tiny drop does so much. We can also use this again on the eagle's head. That's actually a pretty good idea. Just to show it what a difference it makes. Again, barely touching the model. But, uh, as soon as it dries, it will be a little bit more visible. Let's do it also here, under the beak. But that does so much, just as a reference. So, okay, I have to cover her in a blanket. <laughs> Come on, chats. So, okay. Um, yeah, this is an extra step, not really that important for battle lines or just other units. Only for characters, maybe, and or if you have really enough time, if it's your only army. Um, what you can do now is, uh, I'm just going to show it like this, uh, mix Stormhouse Silver and Retributor Armor. Oh, I think Stormhost Silver is dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a dead color. <laughs> um, okay, what would it... Just a second. Can I take a little bit of it? Oh, yeah kind of works but it's now a little bit too much storm host silver oh damn that's messing up my brush right now okay this is quickly going in the trash so <laughs> not going to use that anymore so if you don't want to mix this color yourself. Usually I'm just taking this and use it for the next stage of the highlights. 
We'll just show it on the eagle again. Just here on the brow as an example. On the beak a little bit. Um, where can I show it as well? Ah yeah, the face. I totally forgot the face. Oh, also a very good spot for the Dark Old Flesh. Maybe the face is, and the shoulder, the one point where you should do the Dark Old Flesh. So here on the highest point. The rivets, the nose. The cheekbones a little bit. That's basically already enough. You don't have to do that much. If you don't want to mix it, you can just take, I believe it was Liberator Gold. Wait, let me just put it on my Vortex. Uh, sorry for the sound. <laughs> I believe it was Liberator Gold. Yeah, exactly. It's Liberator Gold. Um, you can just use that if you don't want to mix. And I totally understand if you don't want to mix because I usually don't mix my covers. It's far easier to do that, but if you're on a budget mix it. Don't be scared if it's not always the same color because nothing looks exactly the same. Uh, my car is blue. It's not going to look like the blue of the same manufacturer because colors do change. Oh, that's a little bit too thick. Again, just wash the brush, dilute the paint on the model. It's also called feathering. I just like the term of diluting it on the model more. So don't forget the back of the head. That's fine. Just going to do that on different spots here and there. Doesn't have to be everywhere. Oh, I accidentally painted it in the recess. Oh, what's important is up here. Here on the ridge. Don't do everything, just look for the upper half of it. That's basically already enough. Um, yeah, that is my to go for the regular gold. Usually I go with Stormhost Silver again and do a little bit up here. But uh, you saw my Stormhost Silver. Wait, what is the equivalent uh, of... Wait. Of the two thin coats paint. Because there is one. Uh, where are the mithril blades? Okay, so I have to pick. Uh, I have the color. I don't have to pick it up. Uh, I just have to get it out of the box. <laughs> but yeah, this is easy, fast. I know it took now with the recording one hour. 
Uh, but we still have to figure out how I'm going to put the camera on. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know now. Uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to stop the recording. And let me try something. Nope. <laughs> uh, is there a way? Is this better, maybe? I don't know, this feels weird. Huh, maybe this is better, but now the focus is too far away. But that shouldn't be a problem? So just bear with me, this is now future proving. I need your input. Uh, can we... How do we zoom? How did I zoom? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> because this is still a 4K camera. I zoomed in a lot. But we still have... How do I do this? Is it here? Wait. Ah, oh, there is no zoom. Damn. Okay, I have to figure it out uh, by myself in the coming days. So yeah, if we have, as I've said, any questions on how to paint it. Hello! <laughs> I hope you're well. Uh, I'm good, and how are you? Uh, is the focus still right? Yes, focus is still there. Um, yeah. Hi, Dogo. What up, baby? So, um, shall we play a little bit with the gold now? We still have um, a few parts that I didn't highlight. Because, as I've said, this is the quick version. What I can show you is uh, Saigor Brown is really, really dark, but I love it for gold, which kind of goes into this one for next week. Uh, as he starts with brown, not with Retributor armor. We're just gonna take this tiny amount. Put it in the eyes. Underneath the eyes in the teardrops. Ah, crap. <laughs> I'm messing it up. That's fine. Ooh, but I also need your help with... Is the timing of the stream okay like this? Or should I do it... A little bit later because I'm thinking of going down with my hours at work so I can do more stuff for YouTube more hobby stuff um, but for that I of course need this as a source of income because I'm losing a lot of money because of course I'm going down with my hours at work and yeah because right now I'm 
really unhappy with my job. But yeah, this is with the Gorgranta fur, the face. Saigor Brown, sorry. <laughs> I love this so much that this little dot makes such a difference. Oh. But yeah, I have to figure out how I'm going to do the camera. Wait, what? No, this is... Okay. <laughs> Had to f uh, test it, sorry. Um, I'm really not happy with the setup right now. But I hope it was worth it. Um, again, if you have any questions for painting gold, uh, write it in the comments, please, because uh, sometimes the chat is just not available anymore after the stream. And um, oop, so uh, it's really weird. I don't know why. Um, but for the next stream, I can prepare some stuff for painting gold. And yeah, first model is basically done um, because it's a quick way. Let's just put her here. <laughs> I don't have to look at the model anymore. There are already too many models on my table that are crying for attention. But I guess that's a common problem in our community. So because with the next one, and especially the third one, uh, when we paint Zendaya herself, um, we, I need a lot more control over the paint and on how I look at it. That's going to be really weird. Uh, most people work until 17, 18, even on Fridays. Yeah, joining a stream at 15.30 is difficult for most. For me, it's easy due to home office. That's right. Uh, so maybe starting a stream like this later might be a good idea. Yeah. So maybe right now so for me it's 18 o'clock almost that would be a good idea maybe yeah because my thought was i'm done with work <laughs> i can immediately start painting almost immediately and in the evening i can play with my friend because right now Tekken 8 is out. <laughs> uh, I Same here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, working from home is awesome. That's also one of the reasons uh, why I want to make this a second income. Or maybe, if possible, a main income. I really want to paint more, teach more painting, talk more Warhammer and Conquest with you. And yeah, I don't know. It's just such a huge step. I'm doing this for years and you see the subscriber number. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, but Tekken 8 is awesome. Sorry, but uh, <laughs> I know it's not Warhammer, but I love it so much. Um, still haven't played Rands of Ruin for a second time with the new PC. Not sure if I'm going to do that for the channel because I enjoy the game as it is right now. We still have to play Space Marine 1 for the channel. I started it and didn't finish it, by the way. I think I'm going to do that in the upcoming days after I finished the storyline for Dawnbringer. But yeah, okay. Tomorrow is pre-order day. Mad King Rises is going to be on my pre-order list. 
I'm very excited for that one, even though I'm more than halfway through, two thirds maybe, with the second book. Maybe one hour later. Okay, that's... So, 17.30, 18 o'clock for me, then it is. Okay, I have to talk to my friend about that one, that Fridays we're going to play later than usual. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you for your input, um, really means a lot to me. Uh, hi baby, <laughs> Dogo is here. And yeah, again, if you have any questions for painting, just let me know. Uh, don't, doesn't have to be just for gold, it's just really convenient to talk about gold now. Uh, I'm gonna schedule the next stream again, uh, this time a little bit earlier. Uh, I just didn't have time to make a thumbnail or anything, that's why I still have the old one up now. And yeah, there's just so much stuff to do still, I'm sorry. But I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Um, thank you so much for watching, for spending a little bit of your precious time with me, it really means a lot. Have a great weekend and... Yeah, please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more Warhammer almost every day. And by that I of course mean like and subscribe. <laughs> Have a great day and weekend my friend. Stay fantastic, stay hydrated and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye.